48 kilometers offshore is Fakari White Island, which is the peak of an undersea volcano rising 1,600 meters from the sea floor. Fakari White Island is one of the world's most accessible marine volcanoes, and the surrounding mineral-rich waters offer excellent sport fishing. Sulfur mining was once attempted, but operation ceased in 1914 after a lahar killed 10 workers.
everyone hear me okay? Yep. 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 Tell me I've got a loud voice. Look, um, first and foremost, welcome to White Island, everybody. Now, um, my name's Nick. We've got Nathan here. We'll be your guides around the island today. Now, in the Maori language, this island's name is actually Fakari, or the entire phrase is Tepuia or Fakari. That means that which becomes visible. <coughs> now, um, obviously, there are Fakari White Island is New Zealand's only active marine volcano. Major eruptions last occurred in 1983. In recent times, the volcano has shown signs of increased activity. With lake levels rising and gas emissions increasing. The island is the first in a series of undersea volcanoes extending more than a thousand kilometers to the northeast of New Zealand. We're up here and think if anyone would like me to take a photo with your camera for you so you can get, get physical proof that you were actually here, <laughs> I'm more than happy to do that for you. Maori mythology explains volcanoes as the work of Rua Moku, the unborn child of the Earth Mother, Papa Tuanuku, and the Sky Father, Ranginui. Rua Moku's volcanic fires keep his mother warm, while his restless movement shakes the Earth, causing earthquakes. Volcanism continues to shape the landscape today.